Dale Carnegie said, most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Arise, champion. Now perseverance transforms average everyday people into world champions. So the key to victory, the key to success is never giving up. And in order for you to do that, arise, champion. You're gonna need a strong why to prevail, a strong reason to keep going. You see, the more difficult your obstacles are to overcome, the more you must keep your reasons for succeeding in front of you. Vince Lombardi said, the difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but a lack of will. Success is not about how you look on the outside. Rise, champion. You might look like a Lamborghini, mean and clean, everywhere you go. But see, I'm interested in what's under the hood. Because that's what really matters. When life hits you with that brick, and you get knocked down on that mat. And I'm talking to the Linda Rouseys of the world, the ones that have been knocked down once and twice. And everybody out there is calling you a failure. Everybody out there saying it's over. What are you going to do? Rise, champion. I don't even think they should be able to call you a champion until you've been beat. Because even losers keep going when they're winning. But when you get hit with that brick and you own that mat on your back. Rise, champion. Then we separate the cream from the crop. Only when you're down 25 points on the biggest stage like Tom Brady. And you come back, can we call you the greatest of all time? Abraham Lincoln said... I am not concerned that you have fallen. I am concerned that you arise. Champions make adjustments, not excuses. Get up! The ground, the mat, being on your back is no place for a champion. Get up! Arise, champion. Now you at that crossroads. The decision you make now will ultimately define your legacy. I'm speaking to the Tiger Woods of the world. Each loss. Each setback, each heartbreaking disappointment will try to disguise itself as failure, but it's all a lie. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not give up. Many times on the road to success, you're going to feel crushed, exhausted, and alone. See, life is not like Little League. Arise, champion. They don't give away participation trophies. There's the champions and everybody else. It's one or the other. How do you want to be remembered? Each time life knocks you down, rise, champion. you must bounce back with an even greater hunger to succeed. The ones that have the hardest time doing this are the ones that have weak wives. Now you can only go as far in life as your why will carry you. Champions have self-awareness. They know why they want what they want. And that why carries them to the promised land. The why is the birthplace of all champions. She is the mother to all legends and all the greats in every field. The more deeply you are connected to the thing you're trying to accomplish, the more likely you are to achieve it. Natural talent and ability, that's all good. But it won't carry a quitter. So you gotta find a why that makes you invincible. That you can run through walls with. Get up! Nietzsche said, He who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. And I'm not ignoring what you're going through. Get up! And I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you this gonna be easy because it's not. It's gonna be a struggle. You're gonna have to fight and claw and scrape your way up out of this thing. But you can do it if you wanna do it. Now, are you a pretender? Or are you a champion? You can't have a testimony without first having a test. The whole world is watching you right now. Get up to see how you respond. Show them what you made of. Never give up.
Thank you.